has even more reason to fall divided, accepting lost hope. They find the heart and love for the future to stand together and unite for a grand cause. Okay, we're gonna go through Foot Town and 10 miles between that. We was gonna stop at the Watch Tower, take a couple pictures and shit. Yeah. At the Watch Tower, so we probably come back out, go up to third to go down Wimbledon. Brings me out here today to march to do my thing is a senseless killing that's being done by our people, on our people. The injustices, the brutality that the police are doing to our people. Not only that, we got these targeting our people, and not only that, they targeting our women, our single mothers. Broken families, people that's hurt from bloodshed, poverty, everything. So we're, we're trying to unite black families in broken communities. Like, that's really the bottom line of all this. Feel me? We have to nation build using a nation. Like. Talent that ain't even been exposed to tap into yet. You know what I'm saying? He didn't get a chance to go to college yet. Everybody going to DC when they can address the issues in our own neighborhoods. We came and we here to let the people know that we standing up on our own two feet. We rather die on our feet standing than on our knees. So we here to let the people know they need to keep this black power line pushing. October 10th, 2015. It didn't matter if there was fistfuls to the streets and projects of Los Angeles or millions covering the capital of Washington. The unity and cause for mutual love, respect and growth for the African American community was displayed, felt and heard. Sister Outspoken, reporting with Inner City News.